In our first joke of the day, we bring you The Perfect Man. The ladies at a book club were all chatting when the subject of men came up. The first lady said that her perfect man will wake up early in the morning, do the beds, and then continue with cleaning the house. The second lady said that her perfect man exercise every day and that his body is in perfect condition. The third lady prefers a man that is punctual, with sober habits, early in bed, and an early riser. Once all of them were finished with their opinion about this perfect man, they turned to a lady that have not given her opinion. One of the ladies asks, and what is your opinion about the perfect man? The lonely lady then said, the only place you will find a man who wakes up at 5 a.m., cleans constantly, never drinks, helps with chores, is always on time, exercise every day, and goes to bed religiously at 9 p.m., is in jail. <laughs> Our second joke of the day is about a job interview. Here is a joke about a job interview. A young man, very confident about himself, went for a job interview. Towards the end of the job interview, the candidate was asked by the human resources officer what kind of salary he was looking at. Oh, about $100,000 a year, replied the confident young man with a smile on his face. Well, said the HR officer, what would you say to a package of $200,000 a year, eight weeks annual paid holiday, full medical and dental insurance, two thirds of your final salary as a pension, and a new top of the range company car every year? Wow, said the candidate to the human resources officer. You must be kidding me. The resource officer looked at the man, started laughing and said, well, with that salary request of yours, you must be kidding too. <laughs> we now bring you a joke about an old man at a grave. Two men were taking a shortcut through the graveyard when they spotted an old man weeping beside a headstone. They became curious and crept closer, trying to catch a glimpse of the mourner. The old man's voice, heavy with sorrow, drifted through the air. Every morning, I'd wake up with a smile, excited for the day ahead, and then everything went dark. My life, everything, is now a living hell. Tears streamed down his face as he choked out, Why, did you have to die? Why did you have to leave me in this mess? Feeling immense pity for the poor old man, one of the eavesdroppers stood up and asked the old man, Who was this person to you? The old man, wiping his eyes with a shaky hand, said, He was my wife's first husband. <laughs> now it's time for a simple computer joke. Want to hear a computer joke? A woman was sitting in the lounge reading the paper when she saw her husband rushed past her into the hall looked at the doormat, and then went back to his study. A little while later, he came past her again. Look at the doormat, and you can see he is getting annoyed, and again goes back to his study. His wife looks at him and wonders what is going on with him today. Five minutes later, and the husband stormed, passed her again into the hall for the third time. Now the wife can't hold her curiosity regarding this behavior, and asked her husband, Is something wrong, dear? You've been in and out of your office inspecting the doormat. Yes, there is, the husband replied furiously. My stupid computer keeps telling me, you've got mail. <laughs> the following joke is about a guy that got attacked at his house. You want to hear a joke about a guy that got attacked? One morning, a man was woken by a loud knock at his door. He gets up, puts on some clothes and goes downstairs to open the door. However, when he opens the door, he is met with a six-foot spider that immediately starts to attack him. First, the spider head butts the man, then he tramples all over him, kick him in the back, and then finally kick the man on the head. The next thing the man remember is waking up in hospital with a doctor calmly taking his blood pressure. The man is very confused, but know that he has survived the attack on his live. He looks up to the doctor and asks what happened. The doctor said, I'm afraid there's a vicious bug going around. <laughs> the next joke is about a burglar that was caught at this guy's house. Now the husband wants information. A frantic man practically throws himself through the doors of the police station. 
He walks to an officer that looks in charge and said, I need to see the burglar you caught last night breaking into my house right away, he gasps. The desk sergeant, a man with a weary patience etched on his face, looks up from his paperwork. Sir, you'll have your chance to face the burglar in court. Just take a seat and I'll get your statement. The man, practically vibrating with nervous energy, said, No, officer, you don't understand. I don't want to press charges. I just need to talk to him. I need to understand how he got into my house. How he manages to sneak into my house in the dead of night without waking my wife. I've been trying that for years, believe me, and let me tell you, without any success. <laughs> the next joke is about a guy that's on his deathbed with four sons. A husband and wife had been married for many years and had four children, all of them boys. The oldest three boys had red hair, pale skin, and were all very tall. The youngest son, however, had black hair, dark skin complexion, and was very short. After a long illness, the man was lying on his deathbed. As it has always bothered him that his youngest son looked totally different to his other three sons, he decided that perhaps it was time to ask his wife about this. He turned to his wife and whispered, Darling, before I die, be honest with me. Is our youngest boy my child? The wife, in complete shock, gently replied, I swear on everything that that boy is your son. With that, the husband passed away peacefully. His wife, very relieved, muttered, Thank you so much for never asking about the other three boys. <laughs> our next joke is about a really kinky husband. So, this guy came home from work one day very excited and cannot wait to see his wife. He immediately goes into the bedroom and jumps into bed. He then calls his wife. The wife came into the room and asks, and now, what's going on? The husband replies, you immediately need to get into bed with me. Now, as they haven't been romantic for some time, the wife immediately jumps into bed and start cuddling up to her husband. The husband then continues to pull the blankets over both of their heads so that the two of them are now completely in the darkness under the blankets. His wife whispered, Hmm, kinky. Just then, a little light came on under the blankets. The husband said, Honey, check out my new watch. It glows in the dark. I got it as a present at work. <laughs> now we bring you a joke about a priest on house visit, but the wife is still in her pajamas. Here's a funny joke about a priest. One winter's morning, a woman was busy in the garden, wearing pajama pants, when she saw the priest stopping in front of the house. She runs into the house and tells the domestic worker, the priest is here. Tell him I am just quickly running upstairs to take off my pants. I am coming now. So she runs upstairs, takes her pants off, puts a dress on, washes her hands, put red lipstick on, combs her hair, and goes downstairs into the lounge. She looks around, but there is no one there. She asks the domestic worker where the priest is, and she replies, I told him you just ran upstairs quickly to take your pants off. He said he quickly going to put the Bible in the car. <laughs> Our next joke is a joke about a scarecrow in the vegetable garden. Here's a nice scarecrow joke. This husband and wife were walking through their vegetable gardens when the wife made a comment, don't you think it's time to get a new scarecrow? Why said the husband, our scarecrow is still doing a great job. It is keeping the birds away from the vegetables. It's so effective, not even the spiders visit the vegetables anymore. Yes, said the wife, but it's standing here day and night, through the rain and all the bad weather. Let's change it a bit. The husband getting annoyed asks, why are you so concerned about the scarecrow all of a sudden? The wife said, Okay, I have asked you nicely, but you don't want to budge. She then shouted at the scarecrow, Mom, you can come into the house now. The children miss you. <laughs> now it's time for a joke about a married couple having a huge argument. A frustrated husband and his wife were locked in a disagreement of epic proportions. Voices were raised, cups and plates on the ground. Those arguments are never easy on the kitchenware and accusations flew like rogue socks in a dryer. Finally, 
At his wit's end, the husband stands with his hands crossed as in defeat, muttering something about needing a vacation to the Caribbean, because clearly that would solve everything. He storms out the front door, slamming it shut with enough force to rattle the pictures on the wall. His wife, still angry, throws one last barb after him. Just go to hell, she shouts. The husband stops in his tracks, peering back at his wife with a look of utter confusion. So, you want me to go to hell? Does that mean you want me to come back into the house? <laughs> in our second last joke, we have a guy that got ill at work, but he's very scared for his boss. This timid little man worked for a big company as a clerk and was terribly afraid of his boss. One day when he felt ill, a colleague of his suggested he rather go home. The timid little clerk with fear in his eyes said, Oh, I couldn't do that without asking the boss. The boss would fire me if he found out. Don't be silly, said the friend. How will he find out? He'll never know. He's not even in the office today. So the little clerk, not feeling well, decided to take his colleague's advice and went home. When he got to his house, his eye caught something and he looked through the window. There was his boss, being passionately with his wife. He raced back to the office and rushed up to his friend. What a fine friend you are giving me that bad advice. He shouted, I nearly got caught going home. <laughs> in our last joke of the day, we bring you three very old sisters staying together in a house. But before we go, we would like to thank you all for watching our funny short jokes. Please press the subscribe button and the bell icon underneath this video and you will be notified of our next week's funny joke compilation. Here we go. Three sisters, aged 92, 94, 96, live together in a big old house. One night, the 96-year-old sister runs a bath. She sits on the bath and thinks for a moment. Then she yells to her other sisters, was I getting into the bath or out of it? The 94-year-old shouts back, don't know, wait, I'll come up and see. She starts walking up the stairs and stops to think for a moment. She now yells out to her other sisters, Was I going up the stairs or coming down the stairs? The 92-year-old sister, the youngest, was sitting at the kitchen table having tea while listening to her two older sisters. She shakes her head and shouts, I do hope I never get that forgetful like you two. Not really one for too much effort. She knocks on the wooden door next to her. She then yells, I'll come up and help both of you as soon as I see who's at the door. <laughs>